What about his dead mother? You are really some romantic. No, if we mean, can't you know, hold Todd on Victor's death, what about Irene? Thomas Delgado confessed to that. Oh, you didn't believe that for one minute. We're still working the evidence. Okay, well, what do you think? Huh? I want to know what you think. I mean, I, I, trust your, I trust your instincts. Mine are a little suspect right now. Seriously, what do you... What, what, where's your instincts say? What do you think? Do you think Todd killed his brother? Whatever it is, say it. We need to get going, all right? It's not something I can just spit out. I... Look, I'm your lawyer. Anything you tell me is confidential. That's not the problem. Well, then what is? He was your husband. You loved him. Okay. And I show up, right? And then and, and it ruins everything. And when he was killed, you were convinced that I did it. And then you changed your mind. Then you believed in me. And... What are you trying to say? Sorry. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Morasco? Is that my name? Yeah. How do I not even remember my own name? What happened to me? Look, like I said, it's complicated. Tell me! Okay, look. You shouldn't really worry about it till you get better. I'm not going to feel better said. until I know, so tell me. Okay, all I know is you were in a room with a carbon monoxide leak. What? How? I don't know. Was I alone? No, your sister was with you. I have a sister? Yeah. Where is she? Is she here? No. Can you call her? Because she could help me. I can't. Don't you know where she is? I mean, what happened to her if she was in that room with... I'm sorry. Your sister died. You want to help me? What's the deal? No deal. Never mind. Forget it. I wouldn't trust me either. Well, I just don't get why. What do you mean? What's in it for me? Yeah. Look, I know that I'm lucky anyone in this town even talks to me. I'm lucky Blair gave me this job. If you hate me because of the whole Joey thing. Joey and I are close. I came to town to steal the Buchanan's money. You're not the first person to come up with that plan. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're thinking once a con, always a con, right? Well, if that's true, say hello to a fellow scam artist. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to just assume. No, I, I don't have a date, but I love the company. You should come with me. Well, I'll call the sitter. <laughs> oh, you don't have to call anyone. You got a sitter right here. Oh, that's okay. No, 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 I did raise two kids. Um... You know, no, it's just a sitter please, Jessica, I, 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 you just, just let, let me do you this favor. I, I'll be here, too. And I would love to spend some time with my nephew. See? So there is nothing to worry about. You can just go and have fun. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, his bottle's ready, and, you know, he <gasps> should be going down really soon. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, <laughs> well, I think we have got it. Okay. I think so, okay. too. We'll see you later. Okay. okay. Bye, buddy. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was nice. Which part? The part where I offered to take care of Ryder or uh, Jessica agreed? Both. I'm trying really hard here, Court. I know you are. Vicky is giving me another chance, and I am not going to blow it this time. Oh. Isn't yeah. that right? What makes you so sure? You're here. I'm always better when you're around. Well, I'm wide awake, buddy. We got a dead guy in two different reports of you threatening to kill him. You were on me away before any of these so-called threats. It's personal, John. Because you blew it with Natalie. Brody, please. This isn't the place for that. She made one mistake. She was ready to make it up to you for the rest of her life. But you couldn't get over yourself enough to love an incredible kid. This isn't helping. You're the reason your life's miserable, John. Your choice. But don't make everybody else pay for it because you were a stubborn jerk who drove Natalie and Liam away. Hey, knock it off. My sister's dead, and I don't even remember her. She was in that room with me? I lived and she died? Yes. But why? How could that happen? Yeah. I don't even know who I am or where I am. Okay. My sister right. died. I don't even remember any of it. I'm just a blank. It's Nothing. 
What the hell's going on? I want answers! I told you to let her rest. I did. She just got up. Just I'm just my help me. To help just you help. No, 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 no. I just want to know. No, I just want to know who I am. Yeah. No. I was a con and a thief. When I came to Landview, I tried to get my hands on Jessica's money. Shut up. You were a thief? Just easy B and E stealing jewelry out of hotel rooms, stuff like jewelry, that. Jewelry, huh? Which was wrong. Yes, it was. So tell me, when you went straight, how did that happen? I met Bo Buchanan. He's the reason I changed. If it hadn't been for him, I would still be a lying, thieving little punk. We had to move too soon on time. I know. But did you think he was guilty? Did you know in your gut that he did it or not? I didn't know. Do you still feel the same way? Well, it doesn't matter how I feel. You're going to have to make the call, honey. And you're going to have to do it right now. Now? As in tonight? Any minute, Taya is going to walk through that door with Todd. What are you sorry for? A lot of things. Well, pick one. I'm sorry. That I asked you to represent me. So soon after Victor's death, you were grieving. I, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have. But you're a rude, insensitive, self-centered jerk. So what else is new? Look, we got to go down to the police station and find out who really killed my husband, all right? Let's go. Come on. sleep with him there tonight. Oh, yeah? And maybe you could pretend to read that Dr. Spock baby book again, too, right? Well, I read it. <laughs> At least the... I read the chapter titles. You know, Tina, you were really good with the kids when they were this old. Mm, that's when I was the happiest. Raising CJ and Sarah. With you. That mm. makes two of us. Mm. Oh, I know you're tired. Okay, oh. I think it's time. You ready, little man? Yeah, let's get you up to bed, yeah. huh? Come on. Tina didn't know that it was Liam's paternity test, let alone what it said. You should have signed an act. Well, not that Tina wouldn't call a scam, but this time, I think that she's clueless. Well, where do you think she got the test? Apparently, it was Victor's. Why would your uncle have Liam's paternity test? To mess with John McBain. He hated him. And if he found out that he had a son and he could keep it from him... What? Isn't that what you're doing? You don't know me. You sure? I'm positive. I know you're in a lot of pressure, so you can say that stuff once, but don't ever talk to me like that again. What are you doing? You're not doing yourself any favors, buddy. Neither are you. You know, the more you talk, I wonder what you're not saying. You don't come after me. You do it. You're the one who'll end up looking bad. Hey. You worried about this? Let's kick it up to ID and see what they have to say. Yeah, well, you know what? While you're there, why don't you take that ballistics report that shows that Brody's gun is clean? You do what you gotta do, John. I will. That's not gonna stop until I find out what you're hiding. <laughs> 